My name is Megumi Wata. I am a student in Learning Education and Technology Master's program. Previously, I studied international business management and I worked as a sales in the company and I realized that life is all about expertise development. So I wanted to know how people learn. So I changed my career from business to education because the Finland is famous for their education. I visited several schools in Finland and I noticed that Finnish teachers are very open and they use emerging technologies in their classrooms because this university is multidisciplinary university. I can meet and collaborate with people from different faculties. For example, I did my master's thesis about digital fabrication in education. In this research, I collaborated with people from electrical engineering or computer science. The city of Oulu provides many opportunities for the student. For example, there is this festival of culture that we can participate. I participated as a Japanese team and we did sushi demonstration. Also, I visited many other countries. I enjoyed food and music. Especially, I liked Spanish music with guitar and piano. In Finland, I enjoy sauna and also jumping into the icy cold water straight from sauna. Also, I enjoy walking in the nature. I especially like bruska. In Finnish, it means leaves changing the color in autumn. There are red and yellow colors and it's very beautiful. Now I'm with Esti, our lecturer in Learning Education Technology Master's program. Hi Esti. Hi Megumi. So where are we now? Uh, we are now in our brand new DG class, mm -hmm. which is part of our new facilities in Faculty of Education. Mm -hmm. And in this class we have really good uh, opportunities for distance learning and distance mm -hmm. education. In addition, we have uh, good professional possibilities for video production. Mm -hmm. As you can see that we have this green screen, for yeah. example, around us here. And we also have other emergent digital tools like virtual classes and different tools for programming. Cool. So, Essie, what do you think, what makes this master's program unique? Uh, well, First of all, uh, our program is strongly grounded with learning science research. This means that we know in theory and in practice how people learn individually mm -hmm. and in groups mm -hmm. and with and without technology. And we also want to integrate our students as part of our research mm -hmm. units activities, which in practice means that our students have possibilities to do, for example, their master's thesis mm -hmm. as part of our research and development projects. Mm -hmm. I am with Hutch, my classmate. I need to run to the conference. I have speech about how to apply digital fabrication in education. It's the extended study of my master's thesis. So Hutch, could you please help me finishing this video shooting? Yeah, sure. Hey, I was just about to head to the fab lab anyways, so it's good timing. So I'm here at the uh, Fab Lab. It's a uh, part of an international network of fabrication studios where they have access to laser cutters, 3D printers, milling machines, soldering equipment. And in there you can make just about anything you want. Uh, the staff is really, really friendly and they're always willing to help you figure out your project and help you realize it. My uh, master's thesis is focused on maker spaces and education. So I was particularly interested in learning to use this space uh, both from a theoretical and practical level. So I'm here in front of the laser cutting machine right now. It's one of my favorite machines in the Fab Lab because you can use it to make uh, housings for robots, uh, simple boxes or complex ones, and all sorts of other fun things like these guys here. So etching photographs into wood or designing little keychains and fobs for your friends. Down the way, there's a couple of 3D printers, a milling machine for milling circuit boards, and a decal cutter for making stickers and t-shirt graphics. 
I'm involved in a research project here at the university with the LET research team. It's called the MAKE project. It's a collaboration between five different Nordic institutions studying maker spaces and education. Uh, I've already had the opportunity to travel to Malmo and Sweden with them for a conference and hopefully next year we'll get to travel some more. Uh, in the future, post-graduation, I hope to combine my background in art and design along with the educational sciences to develop and design educational tools. So thanks for watching. I'm off to meet up with some classmates to cook, eat and drink. It's kind of a regular thing we like to do to have fun. So thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.